So today we want to talk about um, credential phishing attacks, um, specifically targeted credential phishing attacks and what you can do um, using our products, Palo Alto Networks products, to prevent these type of attacks. So let's start off with a simple explanation of what happens. Um, we have a bad guy over here, bad guy, frowny face. And what, what that guy does is he stands up a credential phishing page. That's like a login, login window here, login field, password field. And maybe he's a particularly bad guy. And he also puts an exploit kit in here. So really bad um, website targeted attack against one of our customers. And what he would do in that, ca in that case is um, he would try to, to lure the, the, the victim into accessing this page. Um, and the best way to do that is through email. So what this guy does next is he crafts an email, including this link, and sends it to his victim. Key part about this um, type of attack, it's usually also referenced, uh, referred to as a spear phishing attack, um, that email has to look totally benign, so it usually comes from an employee, from a coworker, from a friend, whatever the case may be, because again, goal is to lure the victim into um, accessing this page. So what we do in this case is, um, you have your Power Networks firewall right here. We, we look at this email and we extract this link and send this link up to our Threat Intelligence Cloud. And, and in this cloud, we have a couple of different components that we use. Um, one is called Wildfire. In this case, it would receive the link. And, and Wildfire is our sandboxing product to detect um, unknown threats, um, piece of malware you've never seen. We can detonate those and analyze those. Uh, what we also have up using in this cloud is our Unit 42 guys, um, a bunch of threat researchers, incredibly smart people, um, and, and other teams that support them and help them. We also have Autofocus, which is our latest addition to our Threat Intelligence Cloud, um, which is our Threat Intelligence Service. Think of it as a uh, user interface, um, custom interface, if you will, into um, the combined knowledge we have in this cloud. And finally, we have PainDB, which is our URL filtering, URL categorization service, um, also running in that very same cloud. So what would happen here is first, um, we look at this link and we realize this is an unknown link, meaning we have never seen this link before. So we want to analyze it. The first thing we do is we access this page and run an analysis to identify what type of page it is. Um, in this case, it would be a, a credential phishing page that we identified. So when we crawl this page, um, we use machine learning, we use a lot of sophisticated um, technologies and, and, and techniques in our cloud to get an analysis and a result a verdict of this um, page back into our cloud, into our threat intelligence cloud, and share that with all the components we have um, running up there. The most important bit, though, is from a customer standpoint, what we want to do is we also take this changed verdict, this um, intelligence on this page, and share it back um, with a customer firewall, with all of our customers uh, globally, so that when you look at your user base, and this is really the most important bit, if a user reaches out or tries to access this link, you have this intelligence, you know the verdict, um, you know that it's a bad site, and you can employ policy to prevent this access um, from happening. So in some cases, these kind of attacks may be so targeted that even we can't access the content, the payload. Um, it may actually be possible that uh, may be possible that only you as the, the victim, the possible victim, can see or can access this kind of um, page. So even in those cases where we cannot access this page, we still have methods available um, as part of our threat prevention subscription to analyze the server payload as it comes back from the from the website and identify viruses using our antivirus signatures, um, spyware using our anti-spyware signatures, or, or any other kind of uh, vulnerability that we can address through our vulnerability prevention, and still block this page, still block this malicious payload from being delivered to this user. So the important part is, because these attacks happen so quickly, as websites have stood up so fast and also disappear pretty quickly, um, it is absolutely important to identify these threats very early, um, be able to have access to these links very early, um, and then 
block all access to malicious websites, but also, um, as a best practice, block access to unknown websites, because usually unknown websites, if we haven't seen them before, they're rarely up to any good. But then also to make sure that you inspect the server response as it comes back, because it may well be that an exploit kit um, is really burdened in a site that we have never seen before, and it's important to block that very early. If you liked this video, if you liked this um, little session here, um, please check out our YouTube channel or our website if you want to learn more about uh, spear phishing attacks and how you use our products to prevent these.